Lesson 18, Arguments and Return Values. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a new console project and add a new file named main.cpp to it, as we did in Lesson 1. Recall that functions can take in arguments like this. They can return values like this. They can even do both, like this. So what happens when we pass an argument into a function? The argument variable is declared and initialized when we enter the function and it has local function scope. In this example, the argument's value 1.2 is copied to the variable number which is local to the function. Since the value of the variable is copied, this is called passing an argument by value. Inside the function, we increment the value. However, outside the function, the value of the variable is still 1.2. In contrast, we can make our function arguments references, like this. This is called passing an argument by reference. Recall that a reference stores the location of a variable and not an actual value. So if we change the value of the reference inside the function, we actually change the value of the variable that was passed in. Executing the program, we get this. We can do something similar with pointer arguments. Here's the equivalent code with a pointer argument. Notice that we have made use of the address of operator and the dereference operator. Oftentimes we will want a function to return more than one value. Since functions can only have one return value, we can pass arguments by reference to make a function calculate more than one value like this. Here the arguments plus one and plus two are passed in by reference and assigned a value inside of the function. In addition to passing arguments by reference, we can return values by reference too. However, we need to be very careful with this. Returning a reference to a local variable like this is a bad idea since once we are out of the function, the variable falls out of scope and is no longer valid. Generally, your compiler should warn you about this. We can fix this problem by making sure our return value has a wider scope, like this global variable. Many times we will want to have functions of the same name which act slightly differently depending on the arguments that are passed in. To illustrate this, we have two functions which print the type of the passed in argument. One takes an int and the other takes a double. Executing the program, we see that the function that is called depends on the argument type. The compiler takes care of selecting the correct function for us. Creating multiple functions with the same name like this is called function overloading. For many reasons which we will not get into, functions cannot be overloaded based on return type. So writing two functions like these will generate an error. If you want to do something like this, pass arguments by reference instead. Frequently we will have functions that take some arguments where a passed in value is almost always the same. In such cases, we can use default arguments to give users the most common functionality by default. Here we have a function which sums three numbers. Notice that the last two arguments are set to the default values 1 and 0 respectively. Inside the main function we call the sum function with 1, 2, and 3 values. To make the resolution of the default arguments unambiguous, the supplied arguments fill in the leftmost arguments first, while default arguments are given at the right. This means that in the second function call, for example, the 4 and 3 are supplied as the first two arguments, and the third is the default value 0. Executing the program, we'll get this. Finally, we mentioned that we can pass arrays into functions just like other parameters. Although we don't do it here, we usually need to pass in the array size along with the array. An array is somewhat similar to a pointer, and any changes made to the elements affect the elements of the passed in array. This function sets an element of the array to 1000. It should be noted that arrays are always passed by reference. This concludes the lesson.